A sum of 3125 amounts to 351520. So that's the principal, that's the amount. In three years at X percent per annum, if the interest is compounded annually, so it's a compound interest three years. What will be the simpler interest on the same sum and for the same time at X plus one percentage rate of interest per annum? So principal is given as 3125 and the amount is given as 3515.20. So we can say that the compound interest earned is going to be the difference of these two. So we will have 20 paise for sure. This is going to be nothing. And this is going to be 11 minus 2, that is 90. And this is 4 minus 1, 3. 390. 0.20 is what the interest we are going to earn. So the way uh, compound interest works for three years, let's draw the table. So in the case of compound interest, uh, we need to break down 390.20 into three equal parts. Then some component, as in we will have A is over here, then we will have B, and then we will have two B and C. B and C should be related in the same way as A and B and it should be same way related with P. P over here is going to be 3125. Okay. Well, 3125, isn't it 5 to the power 5? Right? Hmm. So, how should we break 390.20? What if we take 100, 100, 100? 100 out of 3125 is a very small percentage, right? Um, it's a 3 percentage and it's a, it's a difficult value. So, if principal is in the powers of 5, the interest should also be in the powers of 5. As in, can we take 5 cube 125? So if I take A as 125, this A will become 125. This A will also become 125. So 125 is nothing but 5 cube, right? So what did I just do so that 5 to the power 5 became 5 cube? Can we say we divided it by 5 square? So if we continue like this, this one will give us a 5. If we continue like this, this one will give us 1 by 5, which is 0.2. Okay, it makes sense. So, 1 by 25, which is 4% of 3125 will give us 125, 125, 125. And then, 1 by 25 of 125, this is going to be 5. So, this is going to be 2 into 5. And this is going to be 1 by 5, which is 0.2. Now, if we add these, 125, 125, 125 is 375, 375 plus 15 is 390, 390.2. So, we just got our rate of interest, which is 4%. So, X is 4%. If X is 4%, so what is the simple interest on the same sum and for the same time at X plus 1 percentage? So, they are asking a simple interest at the rate of 5% for 3 years, which is going to be same as 15%. 15% of uh, 3125, well 10% is going to be 312.5 and 5% will be 0.25 further. So it should end in 0.75. We don't have to calculate anything else. So this is 10% and this is 5%, right? So the only option that makes sense is 468.75. So if we had actually uh, halved it, this would have been 156. So this should have been 468 anyways, option C. Uh, otherwise, if we don't use this table method, then uh, it will become very calculated because we'll have to do cube root or something else. 